Sup guys, name's Finn, playing some Rowena's Curse this time, and getting a normal intro done because apparently there's three of these things sitting around here. Have to get 8,000 loot, and apparently there's purses, or purses if you like sitting around, and movement is very funny because I was stuck on this guy and now my movement is screwed up, so if, if I jump <laughs> a lot or... Or something. I've never seen that particular permutation of a glitch appear in the engine before. There's some kind of My Little Pony, which is cute, and anyone who thinks that they're scary needs to grow the hell up and start appreciating cute things. You are not 13 years old, and you don't have to be scared of thinking things are cute. Therefore, there is my rant. And it seems like there's a guy walking around in some place or other. I can't get in these doors, by the way. I tried them all. This mission is sort of a key hunt, but that is not necessarily bad. I mean because it's not that badly done. And there's some creepy painting that I think might be the one that I came out of, except maybe not, because it looks a bit small. But there are many, many guys to be knocked out. And this room is the storeroom, or the storeroom, with a female guard in it. And I'm going to watch her while she sleeps. <laughs> what up, bro? Yeah, well, anyway, it seems like there should be something in this room. However, I guess there isn't. I'm just going to leave her in peace to sleep, because seriously here, she did not really do anything to me as of yet, and this door cannot be picked again. I know this because I happen to remember that none of this stuff can be picked, and I could have possibly made a video before this that sucked, and I'm redoing it, but don't tell anyone. Shh. That's the word. Now, you want to quickly run over here and turn off one of these lights, which look like gas lights that you can't turn off other than with a water arrow. However, they are in fact just using those types of models for electric lights, and in fact they aren't actually the kind of gas lights I'm thinking of at all, so I don't know what my problem is, but they got a flame in them, so, but yet yeah, a light switch still turns them off, and this door also cannot be picked. Cannot be picked. It is, uh, uh, actually I'm not even gonna go there, um, I'm gonna make a very, another lowbrow joke, but somebody seemed to enjoy my little BJ and guards joke, so perhaps I should say, this is a nose in a polite society, in public, it cannot be picked. It's not very funny, but that's okay, because these guards are going along here, and then you think, oh, he's gone, but then there's another one. Oh my god. And they get the big pointy helmets. There are lethal weapons and stuff. I'm running out of arms, and I can't get enough. And I noticed that these guard costumes have, like, these proud nipple decorations. <laughs> like, pointing out their nipples, like, oh, we are, we are guards. Fear our nipples. <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> shut up about that now. This freaking floor with this keyboard or this computer or something just does not act as reliably with creep crouch crawling as it used to, so therefore I have to hold down control and be even slower. I guess this mission does have some marble abuse, but since I just like to knock out guards all the time, I guess it's okay. Escape while you can! Arr! Oh, rack him. My name is Rocky Mala, and I take the name of a god, because rap is braggadocious. That's what makes it awesome, you see? Bragging in rap is just fun. That's, that's why I do it. I can say, like, I can say, like, uh, I can't remember. Yeah, I can say, I can't remember. Yo, I will dismember you, because, yeah, you're a fool. And anyways, I go out here, and there's this room here, and then there's, there's all these paintings. Well. Oh yeah, I haven't even taken these guys out because, you see, they look like they have un helmets, but in fact, they're not. They just look like them. Pretty weird, but there's a grandmother of someone, I don't know who. There's Lord Duncan, and here is Lady Rowena, who, as you can see, is completely invisible. Really nice touch with the, like, the uh, darker wall behind it, like the wall didn't get faded. And... Oh, quiet! I'm not trying to jump down the stairs! Jeez. And, yeah, and it's faded, and, and I, I really... I really need to take care of these guards down there, but I kind of forgot that they still existed, so... <laughs> what you gonna do? Time's caught up with you? Don't you stick that needle in its face to sickly grin. There seems to be a purse out here, and there seems to be the main form of loot getting purses. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I've gone out on these roofs and hooves, and it seems like you can go all up on the roofs, but there's nothing there. There's even a cage somewhere, but that is merely the observatory that I went in that one video that I couldn't do a gosh darn thing in it. Perhaps there's something on those roofs, but I don't really know. I don't know, so yeah, I'm kind of... Oh, for hell's sake! 
Why are you turning around every which way like an asshole? Trying to get out the door, failing majestically. I guess I'm just gonna wait for these guys and knock them out. Saving all the time like a weirdo. And I never saw anything wrong with being a weirdo. Personally, I thought that was like a point of pride, you know, not being not being a normal guy, because normal people were like not very intelligent when I was growing up. They like thought things without thinking about why and like uh did stupid oh. things like uh, talk about girls and that beer. Yes, like even rats. when they were like eight years old, they were talking about beer. No, I'm not. I don't know, but, uh, <laughs> and, and yes, and I'm just like, I'm a weirdo, and it's completely good. There's Adrian Smith, and then there's Robert Plant, What's and uh, here's yet another guy who is like young Neil, I guess. Your name is now. I'll find Neil. you. Yeah, well, you'll find you have a bump on your head, and. He's Rupert. I don't know any singer or band member named Rupert. I'm sure there is one. I could wiki it right now, but why would I ever, ever, ever do that? I guess I'll turn this light off for no reason. And I don't know if I can sneak down here and still be behind these guys, but by God, I'm going to give it a try. <coughs> Who's What's there? What's that I see? Ah, uh, no. shush. Shush. There's some oh, chairs that are not very nothing. glamorous. They look kind of like steward of door chairs there, and I have to probably try to pick this guy up fairly quickly. Oliver Is that you? Drake. Hey, crouch, you freak. I know there's a purse there, but I have to go get this guy first. Strange. Not make any I noise doing it, because there. this is not the Beastie Boys, and we are not saying make some noise while being mm -hmm. totally loudness warded, yet Hello? nobody says anything, and then one of them's just like, I swear, this record sounds great on vinyl. No, You're deaf, buddy. No. Stop hiring stupid <laughs> engineers who make music staticky and... Stupid, stupid, stupid. It's no, not even any difference between compressed loudness and compressed staticky loudness, so shut up. Stan, there's a used car salesman. This guy's Oliver, and then here's his purse, which I guess he dropped when he was sitting on that throne. Because, 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 because. I don't even know what's in here. It's like a room exactly like the other room, except this one does not, in fact, lead to the basement, as this one does, you may recall. Shh. I hear something. Do you smell that? Anyways, yes, you see this door, if you'll recall, it leads to the basement. It's more like that. <sighs> Looks like it'll be a quiet shift after all. I I will, uh, yeah, well, uh, it looks like these guys are going to be a little bit difficult to KO here if I wanted to do such. But I'm going to see if I can, because... There are too many guys here. Holy smoking pot hippie junkies. I. Whoa. Wrong button. I walk fast instead of walking slowly, but I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. I don't know, man. I guess I want to go upstairs still or something. I mean, I don't even know if I can do anything up here, but I'll just f keep following this weird anti or counterclockwise direction of these guards, depending on what kind of thing you prefer, anti or counter, and then there's like an outside deck, and this is probably another room I can't pick, because these are color-coded guest rooms, and there seems to be at least one other fan mission that also color codes guest rooms, I don't know if that's a practice in real life or something, but you'd think maybe it would be, because maybe it is, maybe it isn't, who even knows, I don't know, stop asking me, man, oh, and this is the delightful nude pictures there, where you can like look at them and go, huh, it's erotica. And that one seems to be kind of squished and compressed into a frame there, and uh, it looks like there's actually nothing up here that I can do at the moment. But, oh, oh, I can actually pick this one. That's craziness. It's crazy talking. Ugh. Picking the pick with the pick, the pick, pick, the pick, pick, picking a poke, pogue, pog. I can't remember pogs. They were pretty funny. What? What the? I wonder what happened here. <laughs> what are you say in a shocked voice, and then I wonder what happened here, you say in like a regular voice, curious type of voice. Oh, there's, yeah, there's a switch there, you see? Lord Carlisle, I'm asking for your help because I can't trust anyone in this house. I didn't have the courage to bring forth my suspicions before, but now that my beloved Isabella has vanished, I can't keep them to myself anymore. The night that Daisy disappeared, I saw her entering- Really? Someone knocked her out and or possibly killed her? Nelly, I guess it's not a corpse, because if it were, I would be able to kill her right now. 
or it is. Well, whatever. There seems to be a switch here, and uh, but before that, I'm going to look in the bathroom for absolutely no reason. So I guess this is the yellow room, given that it's yellow, so I have my bearings there, although I guess I did before. Anyway. Hmm. Well, look in the sink for loot, look in the windowsill and the plant for loot, look in the bathtub for loot, but I guess sometimes often in fan missions, bathrooms are really just bathrooms. There's some kind of mechanist looking toilet that's pretty great. Down in here, there seems to be a very weird tunnel that doesn't really make any sense and thus is surreal and awesome. So, and it seems there is a strange door with a symbol of like a sun. Hey, it's like a keeper looking door. It's got like keys and I can't even open it. Like, I can't even remember where I get the first key that'll start off the key hunt because the only key I've gotten was like a secret one so I must be forgetting something possibly on the grounds there's so many guards around but uh, that says maybe so I guess that's some sort of preview that isn't even on the map and it's pretty awesome and this door's slightly to the left which is also awesome for no reason and if the yellow door can be picked then perhaps this door might be picked too? Aha, it can be. So, I will see what's inside door number two and do the weird puzzle of, like, the chance and probability of picking something behind three doors. I don't even remember what it is, but Wikipedia always serves me for knowing stuff. And I guess this is the blue. It's got blue light and everything. And I can pick yet another chest to possibly become even richer. $2,000 is incredible rich. Oh, ho. <laughs> I will ask for Lucrethia's hand in marriage tomorrow. I wonder if she is aware of the great honor it will be for her to become part of our noble and ancient family. I will also have to suggest her not to wear her showy dresses when she comes to meet my mother. Wow. I wonder if she's aware how lucky she is to be marrying the likes of me. <laughs> Probably isn't the stupid bitch. <laughs> what? Well, well, you deserve everything you get, you dumbass. Stupid treating women like garbage. Anyways, it's quite well written, though. Percival, yes, that's the Lord Percy. Quite a good name. Well, I'll stick you in a bed because that's somehow punishment. We'll just pretend it's like a torture bed, and but maybe you're into that sort of thing. So who knows? He's in the bathroom for no reason, and uh, you know, there seems to. Oh, you know, well, well, the yellow room had a switch, so. Looks like this is a bookcase, so like maybe it'll slide if I find another switch. I'm thinking because I, I do seem to remember there being secrets in all of these rooms, semi spoiler. But I mean, I'm just saying. Did I see? S no, that's just a light switch. But, 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 whatever. Joke falling flat there because it wasn't like a. Anyways, uh, but there seems to be probably be a switch and. Uh, I'm just guessing, but I'm pretty sure. Like, maybe it's in the bathroom. I mean, that'd be kind of silly, but uh, it could happen. It could happen. Uh, you know, it would be funny if it was the toilet switch. Every time you tried to flush the toilet, it would be... It would be... A thing would open. And you'd be like, what is happening? Well, I don't know where this switch is, if there is one. But uh, I'm going to just have to leave that till tomorrow. And I've got to sneeze right now. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.